first drove the Suzuki Xashi, we were impressed with how well it drove, how nice it looked, and the quality of its interior. The big question was, would all of that niceness last once we really put some miles on it? To find out, we spent a year with this $27,000 top-of-the-line all-wheel drive platinum metallic Suzuki Kazashi. So how did the Kazashi hold up after a year in our hands? Let's discuss point by point. We've always thought the Kazashi's exterior design was one of its best features and a big step forward for the Suzuki brand. But the big question with any design is whether it will still look good in a year or five. We think the Kazashi does and will with a shape that is neither too bold nor too tame. During our time with the Gazashi, we blasted between Los Angeles and Las Vegas, sat and stopped and go traffic for longer than we'd care to remember, and, oh yeah, drove from America's right coast to its left. Throughout it all, comfortable seats and a supple ride made Suzuki's mid-sized sedan a surprisingly good long-haul cruiser. Along with a comfortable ride, we were continually impressed by the sense of control imparted by the Kazashi's handling. In fact, our year-long loan cemented the Kazashi's position in our minds as one of the most fun-to-drive mid-sized sedans you can buy. Another area that continues to impress us is this interior. Upon first introduction, we were really impressed that a Suzuki interior could look and feel this good. And after all this time, we're still really thrilled with the clean and simple design, the sturdy materials, and all the soft touch surfaces. Regarding the interior, one of our editors appreciated the genuine feel of the leather seats, while another praised the sound of the Rockford Foscape premium audio system, but longed for a scan button and an easier interface when controlling an iPod. In terms of build quality, the Kazashi feels as solid today as when we first picked it up in New York City. It's not making any strange noises, nothing's stopped working, nothing's fallen off, it's holding up just fine. The only issue we had is with the fuel filler door. It stopped open. In our attempts to force it open, we managed to dent it. Well, I managed to dent it. Then, after silently cursing the car, we noticed this piece right here had been bent by one of our editors. So, we bent it back. Now it works like a charm. No harm, no foul. Mostly. The cavalcade of praise continues with the engine. For all our driving needs, the 2.4 liter, 180 horsepower four-cylinder performed well, delivering plenty of power and decent fuel economy. During a particularly memorable trip to Legoland, we managed fuel economy numbers in the low 30s, exceeding the highway rating of 29 miles per gallon. Being based in Los Angeles, we didn't have many opportunities to put the all-wheel drive system to the test, but for occasional rainy days, the added traction was appreciated. We have plenty of nice things to say about the Gazashi, but not everything is glowing. Exhibit A, the CVT transmission. From a standstill, the CVT takes too long bringing engine revs up to the power peak, hurting acceleration. And then once in motion, the CVT tries to bring engine revs back down, making it feel sluggish. Overall, not a deal breaker. However, if they'd gone with a better transmission, something on par with Nissan CVTs, the gold standard, that's right, it would have elevated an already excellent car. Sadly, the potential deal breaker for the Kazashi has nothing to do with how it actually performed during our year-long test drive, its resale value. After five years, Kelly Blue Book predicts the Suzuki Kazashi will be worth less than 25% of what it cost to buy new. That's worse than most of its competitors. What are the implications of that number? Well, if you buy a Kazashi and ever plan to sell it, your overall cost of ownership will be higher than the tempting price tag might imply. Below average resale values cloud the issue, but in simple terms, the Suzuki Kazashi is a lot of car for a comparatively modest sum. It's also worth noting that the Suzuki Kazashi comes with a seven-year, 100,000-mile, fully transferable powertrain warranty. Not that we made use of it at any point. We haven't seen a lot of Suzuki Kazashis on the road since launch, but we'd be willing to bet that has more to do with a limited dealer network and a lack of awareness amongst the car buying public than any issues with the car itself. Having lived with the Suzuki Kazashi for the past year, we're fans. If you're the type of person that's willing to take a chance on a plucky little sedan from Japan, we think you might become one too.